Hi girls and boys, welcome to Storytime with Constable Mark Smith of the Calgary Police Service. Uh, today we're going to be reading Rosie's Walk by Pat Hutchins. I hope you enjoy. So Rosie the Hen went for a walk. Oh, and who's that hiding behind there? Is that Mr. Fox? Oh, Rosie continues on her journey, walks past a rake, and Mr. Fox tries to jump. But what's going to happen? Oh no, Mr. Fox hits the rake, and it hits him in the face, while Rosie continues walking on her journey. Oh, now Rosie walks around the pond and Mr. Fox leaps to try and catch Rosie. But the frogs down in the corner here says, oh no, don't do that. I wonder why. Oh, I know why. Because Mr. Fox ends up jumping in the pond, scares away the frogs. Meanwhile, Rosie continues walking on her journey. And now Rosie walks over a hay bale and followed by Mr. Fox. And up ahead, we can see a, a goat in a field. Oh, and looks like in the hay bale, there's some mice as well. Oh no, Mr. Fox leaps into the hay bale scares away the mice, but Rosie happily continues on her journey. Oh, Rosie now walks past a mill and there's a, f a bag of flour hanging on some string from the mill. But oh no, I can see that Rosie's foot gets tangled in the string. Meanwhile, Mr. Fox is sneaking up on Rosie, but what's going to happen? Oh, and look, who's this watching in the distance? Mr. Gopher. Oh, and Rosie pulls the bag of flour and it ends up covering Mr. Fox. Oh, now he's a little bit stuck, but I wonder what he's going to do now. Oh, and Rosie uh, continues on her journey and has to walk through the middle of a fence. But Mr. Fox is unable to follow her through the fence, so he has to jump over the fence. But I wonder where he's going to land. Oh no, there's a cart on the other side of the fence and Mr. Fox ends up landing on the cart. But the problem is, there's a bit of a slope and that cart starts to move down the hill. And where's he going to end up? Because in the distance, down here, I see some beehives. That could go badly. Oh no. Mr. Fox rolls down the hill on the cart. He slams into the beehives. Meanwhile, Rosie continues on underneath. But those bees are going to become angry now. Oh, and as we fought, those bees did become angry. Now they've chased Mr. Fox up the hill. But Rosie continues on her lovely journey. And she manages to even get back in time for dinner. And that, everyone, is the end of today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. I will have another story soon, so I look forward to uh, reading again to you very soon. Thanks for joining me.